Okay, so welcome back everybody to another little video, a little short video of uh, what we do here. And um, I know we've been getting comments on, on um, you know, social media and asking questions about older models and stuff like that. So we're, we're gonna start doing this hopefully every week or as soon as, you know, when we can and talk about our older models um, and, and, and a little bit of story behind them. Um, there's some that, that I designed, there's some that Mike designed, and there's some from our other uh, uh, designers that, that you know, will, will, will be cool bringing up in these stories. So today, you know, we have the, the Tom Brown trackers. Everybody knows the Tom Brown tracker. Uh, that's one of our icon, uh, iconic knives and, and, and here at Topps. Um, <clears throat> if you guys were at the beginning, if you, if you know Topps from the beginning, we have the Tom Brown Tracker, um, the TBT-01, which is a regular tracker. Right now, if you can find one of those trackers, they're going for big money. I can't tell you how much, but I know maybe four or five years ago, a lady contact contacted us and said, if you guys can get me a Tom Brown Tracker 1, I got a $15,000 check, you know, waiting for you. What they're going for, I don't know. Um, so yeah, they're, they're, you know, people are collecting these. They're not letting them go. So if you find one, keep it. Uh, here today we have um, the, 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 the second run. So this one, the Tom Brown Tracker 2, was um, a stainless steel run that we ran, I want to say 10, about 10 years ago, 15 years ago. And, and these are the first knives that I personally started making behind my dad's house in the garage. The, these were all hand ground and done by me. Uh, Benny, you know, Benny was helping me with the, with the handle part. Um, and, and my wife Anna was helping me, you know, grind or buff, you know, we had to do all that as well. Uh, so, <clears throat> so this was the second one we did in, the, in, in Damascus for the trackers. That uh, was a tracker two. What they're going for right now, I don't know. Uh, this is the first one, this is number one that, that I keep in my collection, uh, but this one we decided to talk about today. And then years after that, um, we did we did the, the, the mini Tom Brown Tracker. Um, and this one was a, this is not stainless steel, I, I, I don't think so. And, and you know, it's been so, so, so many years that a lot of these, you know, I'll know a little bit. You know, I'll, I'll remember a little bit, and then as the time goes on, I'll remember more about it. But, um, but yeah, so these these are, um, you know, they're uh, a nice piece if you collect and to have in your collection. You know, this is this is a, a good out, a get out on the collection. You're not we're not going to make it more. If we do, they're going to be totally different than anything we made. Um, I know on each of these these the stainless steel ones we probably ran. Mm, less than 300 probably and then on on the small one we there's a run maybe of close to the same probably three to five three to five hundred max but uh you know but there's no more so i know this one like i said this one this one was going on about a couple weeks ago was was on somebody's website for like eight nine hundred bucks um when we were selling them i don't remember the price we had on them um but again Nice piece of collection. If you can find them, keep them, because you know they're gonna be they're gonna be a collectible for sure. So also we've been getting uh, questions about handle material, um, especially this, this antique white one. Uh, why don't we use it anymore? Why don't we we, we put it on, on on newer knives? Well, the first one and the the mo you know the one that I'm gonna use it's a pain in the ass to work with. It's tough to keep clean. Um, anything you do with it, you have to sand it by hand, you have to finish it by hand. So it's a lot of hand work. And then after it's done, you have to keep it covered in some way that nobody can even look at it because it's going to get dirty. That's how bad it is. So that, and, and I think to, to get it, I haven't tried to, we haven't tried to buy it here um, recently, but I, I know it's hard to get as well. Um, <clears throat> when we were buy this, it was in smaller and smaller sizes and so the quantity had to be bigger but smaller sizes so we had to you know arrange everything to, to make that work and also also you know going back to going back to the to the blade comparing you know i'm going to compare how how we make blades now and how we made like the blade, blade back then like back then i would get this cut out with a water jet 
and all the handles we were doing by hand. So we were cutting them and, and, and shaping them, everything by hand. And now, as, as you guys know, and you guys seen the video, some of the videos, uh, we do everything CNC. And so a lot of this is, is would be, if we were to do this same thing now, would be a lot easier, but then, you know, it sort of kills that handmade knife. All these were hand ground, all these were, were done in a grinder, which, you know, when now we're, we're all putting them on CNC, so. Uh, that, that's the difference with how, um, on how we do things now. And that's why the value uh, goes up so, so much on these, because they're all hand done. You know, like I said before, if you guys do come across one of these, the, that's why the value keeps going up so much because these are hand done. These are nothing to do with machines. These are all in house. We were we were grinding. We would stay up late, you know, finishing these to get them out. I think we would finish them in batches of 25 or, or, or whatever it was. But that that's why uh, there's so much value in these blades that these were all hand done and nothing to do with machines. Um, so. You know, if you, if you see one and it looks machine made, it's probably a fake. We've seen some fakes out there. And so one, one thing as well that I want, you know, everybody to, to, to look at when finding one of these or, or when, you know, you're, you're trying to buy one of these. Um, I, I'm pretty sure if you're a knife maker, you're a collector, you know what's done by hand. You know what's done, what's done um, by machine. You know, the, the grinds, I don't care how good of a knife maker you are, you're always going to see, you know, little, little differences on, on each side of the grinds um, so always keep you know keep an eye on, on on your on your grinds some of these fakes they're getting better and better every every day to, 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 to knock them off but um, you know our logo that's our original logo and then you know you'll have the the letter which is the year we made it and then your, your nomenclature I mean your, your, your serial number um, a lot of these fakes that you see out there they'll have the same serial number over and over and over um, so keep an eye on that, um, <clears throat> you know, and, and now that I'm talking about this, of this blade here, this blade, when I started making these behind my dad's house, um, so I would work, I would work for Tops, and I would work for, for another company where, where we, you know, where they were making our, our Tops knives, and we'd sharpen there, and I would go after Tops, I would go sharpen there, and then after that, I'd get off there like around 7 o'clock, 6, 7 o'clock at night, I would go and grind these. And so 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, you know, um, I'm, I was probably sharpening these, buffing them, cleaning them up. Um, if you guys are familiar with Damascus, you have to do a lot of buffing to, to get this pattern nice and neat and uh, get all the acid and, and all the residue that's left. Um, but yeah, th this happened for maybe two years when I was, uh, when I was uh, uh, doing a lot of these other, and I, to be honest, I don't remember what other knives we ran out of there, but there were smaller runs that I would do for tops as well out of that. Yeah, so so you know that's a little memory that I that I got just holding this in my hand. I hadn't put this in my hand in a while. So just to just to you know to to to, to, to come back to, to 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 these models that you guys are seeing here today, we don't make these no more. We're not going to make them anymore. They're not going to be up for sale. We're not going to do a, a a limited run. These are just just talking about the the old models that Tops had. You know, like there's this little one. Um, I think we had that in stock maybe six, seven years ago, eight years ago. Um, <clears throat> the, the exact number of how many we made, I'm not sure, but there's less than 500 out there. I guarantee it. And, you know, if you can get them, cool. Um, I have a couple of them that we kept ourselves. Um, again, they're hand ground. Everything was hand done with these, uh, but these were CNC cut out and then everything else was done by hand. Same thing with the handles on these. Um, the blue black G10 is a, a material we currently use, um, but like I said, not on these trackers. The, this handle won't fit the original, the, 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 the little um, tracker TB, uh, what is it, TBT04, the number four, it won't fit because they're a little smaller. Um, but other than that, if you guys can find them, get them, you know, they're, they're, they're cool out onto your collection. I know, especially that, you know, that small one, years come, they're gonna be worth money. So if you can get a hold of one, do it. Yeah, guys, that's a, you know, that, that's a little bit about these. Again, there's something new we're doing. You know, stay tuned. We're going to be doing more videos like this. Please let us know what you guys want me to talk about or you want, want us to bring up. And, you know, I will be doing them. Craig will be doing them. Just give us some time. We're busy. Um, but, I'm you know, we're trying to put out more of this stuff for you guys. And I know 
recently a lot of people have been picking up older models that we've been getting emails about is this new is this legit is this uh, uh, a counterfeit you know and we're trying to answer everybody as, as they're coming in but more and more that's coming up um, and we'll be we'll be doing a lot of these uh, if like again if there's models that you guys want us to talk about let us know if it's custom ones that I've done and that you guys have seen and I know on the custom on the custom uh, website for tops custom shop um, we'll be posting some of those as well but if you guys want me to talk about them you guys want to want me to bring them up I will I'll do that as well so just let us know let us know in the comments um, or wherever wherever you guys get a hold of us let us know so next video coming up is gonna be based on what you guys say whether it's custom retired model current model don't care let us know and it's up to you guys thank everybody and we'll see you guys soon